Today we create mini superhero comic books. This is part one of the mini superhero comic book series and it's for ages five through eight. To see more of these programs, visit us on YouTube. Hi guys, I'm so glad you're here. Yes, I am um, an artist and a teacher and I have been making art since I was your age and younger. Um, I like to do cartooning. I love to do cartooning and I have my own little cartoon series for a while and I've written some books and now I do painting. Um, but today we are going to do some super cool mini um, art books like these, which I think you're going to have a lot of fun with because I know I did and I'm really excited to get started. Okay, let's see. So this is the adventures of Super Bow Wow. Okay, and you could see he's a dog, obviously, because I love dogs. And Super Bow Wow, his, um, whoops, his superpower is that he could make his tail spin around really, really quickly and fly in the air to help people. And then we have our evil villain, Catnip. He's an evil cat, and evil cat catnip likes to steal candy from babies and make them cry. Oh, it's awful. Isn't that awful? How could you steal candy from babies? But Super Bow Wow will come to the rescue, and he'll knock out catnip and make babies happy and fly away. So that's my little Super Bow Wow book. Okay. What do you think about that? All right, guys. So the materials we need today. I'm going to put my little books away. Most importantly, paper. If you have paper, like computer paper, this is the paper that I use for everything. Okay. You got your paper. You're going to need a couple of pages. So more than one sheet. Make sure you have your paper. You need a pencil with a sharpened point because when we're drawing, we don't want a flat pencil. We want a nice sharp point and an eraser. Then you are going to need um, some type of a black marker. You can use a Sharpie marker or just a regular black marker um, with a thinner point. Okay. These are good for outlining your comics after we draw them. And you will need something to color your comics with. You can use color pencils. Um, you can use magic markers. I like magic markers. If you have them, great. If not, um, you can even use uh, paint. If you don't have that, if you have crayons, that's great. If you don't have anything to color in your comics with, don't even worry about it. We can make black and white comics, right? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, what we're actually going to do today is make our own superhero mini comic. So I showed you the mini comic book. We're gonna make our own superhero, our own villain, make a story, put it in the book, color it in and have a finished book, hopefully, right? So the first thing that we need to do is we need to make a superhero. So you're gonna draw in pencil and paper. I'm gonna draw in marker so you can see it, but you guys are gonna use pencil and paper, okay? And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a regular average person cartoon. Are you ready? Give me thumbs up if you're ready. Okay, here goes. This is how I draw my cartoon. I'm gonna show you how I draw my cartoon. If you have your own cartoon that you like to draw, that's fine, you can draw that, whatever makes you happy. I'm gonna draw my regular kind of guy uh, cartoon. So when I draw a cartoon, I don't know why, I always start with the eyeballs. So, My eyeballs are two big circles with two dots inside. That's how I do my cartoon, okay? So if you want to try that, give that a try on your paper. 
very simple, two circles. And then I give him a little U-shaped nose. Can you guys all see that? Just a little tiny nose. And then I skip everything and I go to his ears. Again, I don't know why, I just do these silly things. So here we go, here's one ear, whoop. It's like the letter C. And then I'm gonna go around his face and do a backwards C, whoop, like that. So I did the letter C, I did like an arc over here and then a backwards letter C to make his ears. Okay, so then I make his hair. And usually I make some kind of messy scribbly lines to make his hair. Now, depending on his mood, maybe he's happy today, I'll give him a little smile. He's a nice regular kind of average guy, right? Let's give him a, a little neck. Again, that was just two lines and a little arc. And then I'm gonna build his shirt. And that's kind of a rectangle shape here and here. Okay, so to finish his shirt, I'm just gonna bring it down. And I kind of make it almost like a little, the bottom is almost a triangular shape, but there's no point at the top. Now, before I give this guy pants, I'm gonna give him fingers. In my cartoon characters, we all have five fingers, right? In my cartoon characters, I don't know why again, I just like to give them four fingers. So he's gonna get four fingers and they're gonna look very bubbly like this. Whoop, one, two, three, four. I made this character, doesn't he look weird? He's yeah. cool, he's super awesome, Noah, I love it. All right, so now I gotta give him another hand. There we go, okay. And then he needs some pants, right? And then after your pants, you need shoes. So I like to make big sneakers. Okay, and then I'm gonna give the sneaker some bottoms for traction so he can run. And then we're gonna take this regular guy to superhero, okay? So while we're waiting, um, if you guys who are finished can show me what you've done, that would be great. Great. Nice, nice, nice. You guys got it. Oh my gosh. It looks a lot like Carrie's. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so we are gonna take our average guy, my average guy, his name is Max, okay? I'm gonna turn Max into a superhero. Are you ready? Watch this. What does a superhero need? The first thing he needs, a cape, right? So we are gonna give Max a cape. So after we do the cape, what else, when you see a superhero, what is he wearing? How about a mask? to hide his identity. He's got a secret identity, right? He's no longer the average guy. He's no longer Max. He's becoming a superhero. So we're gonna give him a mask. And you can give him a mask any way you want.
Okay. Now he's got a mask on, but that's a plain mask. And Max is a super superhero, so I'm gonna give him a really cool mask. So I'm gonna give him some like spikes or something on his mask. Okay, so he's got a cape, he's got a mask, and you know what a lot of superheroes do? They wear like a uniform. So I'm gonna change this little shirt and outfit into more of a superhero looking type of uniform. So maybe what I'll do is, first of all, I'm gonna give him his logo, a symbol. He's super max, so I'm gonna change his shirt and make it into a superhero symbol. So after you give him his, his, his superhero symbol, you can jazz up that uniform of his. I'm gonna give him some stripes and some stars. Okay, so he's got his cape, he's got his cool mask, he's got his superhero symbol there, some stars, some stripes. He needs some better shoes. He can't just wear kid sneakers, right? We need to give him some superhero shoes. So let me think about that for a minute. <coughs> I think I'm gonna give him some boots. Now I'm giving him special boots with spikes on the bottom so he can walk on any kind of terrain, any type of land, or buildings. So now my regular average guy, Max, check him out. He has turned into a total superhero. All right, okay. we have our superheroes, yes? So now, <clears throat> he's missing something. What is he missing? Does anybody know what he's missing? His superpower. So, think, what is your superhero's superpower going to be? Right? So, we can give him, like, supervision. We can make his shoes fly up into the air. He can zap lightning out of his fingers. <clears throat> so those are a couple ideas that you can use on your superhero and see if you come up with something else. All right, guys. So I'm gonna take my superhero down for a minute because now we're gonna draw a villain, okay? And what makes a villain a villain? So with my villain, I usually start again with the eyes. And I give him those eyes that come down that look really, really mean. And then my super villain usually has a very pointy nose. And I can also give him eyebrows to accentuate his eyes.
And he's not a very happy guy. That's maybe why he's a villain, right? So we're going to give him a big grr. We're going to give him a big frown. Okay. And then with my villain, on my superhero, he had nice, round, happy little balloony like face. My super villain is more long and drawn out. So when I do his ears, I'm making them longer on either side. And I'm making his face longer. And his hair? Hmm. Let's give him really crazy hair. Carrie, that looks like me when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give him, oh, I, I kind of ran out of room, so I'm going to give him a very small body. I mean, that's another reason why he's an evil villain, because he's really uncomfortable, because he has a giant head and it's gonna have a really small body. Now your evil villain, my friends, can look any way you want. Your evil villain can be an evil cat. It could be an evil mouse. It could be a robot, okay? Use your imagination and just have fun with it. I'm changing his sad face into a mustache. I think he needs a mean mustache. Yes, the evil villain can have powers, and that's how he um, spreads evil in the world. Because eventually, your superhero is going to want to save the world from your supervillain's evil. So, what is it that your supervillain does that's bad? So, hmm, I have to think about that for a minute. And I want you to think about what does your evil villain do that's so evil? Okay, so my evil villain, I'm going to name him Cranky Man. And his evil villain power is that he makes everybody who's having a great time, he makes them sad and makes them cry. He's terrible. He's so cranky, he makes everybody in the world cranky. So this is Cranky Man. And he does this by lasering his eyes on people. And that's his cranky power. Oh my Ooh, God. Cat and Monkey Man. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
Ooh, look at that. Good too. Very good. That's amazing. <laughs> what talented artists we have. All right, guys. So y'all have a superhero. And you all have a villain, right? So I'm gonna take this down for my next piece of paper. And so what we need to do is um, we need to start creating our story. You know your superhero, right? You know your villain. Now we're gonna put them in a story and we're gonna create something that looks like this. It's called a story map. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to see the next part of this series where we learn how to create story maps for the mini comic book series. Visit our website www.ocartscouncil.org to find out more about programs that the Orange County Arts Council offers. These programs are made possible because of support from people like you.